me, baby, yeah I said, baby, I've been touching for the weekend I don't know, baby, right What's going on guys, it's Jay and welcome back. Today I just want to give you guys a little update on the Sonata, where it's at, what's going on. But yesterday my engine finally came in, today they took the engine out, so they'll probably put the engine in tomorrow, which means I'll get my car back maybe hopefully Friday or Monday. Today I just want to talk to you guys about a question that I've seen a lot and people have asked me about and it's about extended warranties. We're not really talking about new car warranties because those are pretty much worthless and useless because it's a new car, what you, what you, what you gonna fix. It's more about like extended warranties on like used cars and things like that. Are they worth it? To answer that question, most people come and they buy a used car, we're talking about the 15,000, the two twenty thousand dollar range. These cars, you don't know what the previous owner's done to them. You don't know how they took care of. Like you don't know anything. Like really, you're just buying a car that someone else had, and that's it. So it's almost a gamble. But with that being said, like for my my situation, for my for example, I bought a car. Uh, I think my car was 16 something. And then the warranty, my warranty was like 1500 So, say I didn't have my warranty. I'd be up Shit's Creek right now. I'd be having to pay for a 6000 high $5,000 job. And I don't have that kind of money sitting around. Without this warranty, I'm screwed. But thankfully I have the warranty and the warranty has already paid for itself double, triple. So, let's see, the turbo was 725 the engine was 2500 I'm not good at math, but anyway, that's like four something, three something. And I don't have that. Plus, you gotta add in the labor, the taxes, and you're looking at some some big, bat, like you're looking at some racks that I don't have. And I'm pretty sure people that's buying cars in these price ranges don't have that either. And if you do, then that's, that's what's up, keep doing you. But most people don't have that kind of money just sitting around, and they don't have that kind of money like, they're not prepared and they don't prepare for something like that because your car breaking down something to this extent i can understand like a flat tire or maybe just something like that but not like a blown motor that's like something that's not really expected like this is my first time even dealing with something like this like i said without the warranty i'm out of luck i'm up shit's creek but the warranty is paid for itself so i mean you think about it say you get a, a car that's Twenty thousand. That little fifteen hundred dollar, two thousand dollar warranty. That shit don't make a difference. Your payment's gonna be like fifty dollars more, maybe seventy five dollars more. Like that's a lot. But I'd rather pay that little extra fifty dollars than have to save up five six thousand and buy like you know, like I said, buy new engines, all that. Which that's something that's not really expected. But say you do buy a warranty, you don't ever use it. I mean. Better safe than sorry. Say you buy a car and you didn't get the warranty, the motor blows up. Also, I think it's one of the things where it depends on the car as well. Like everyone knows Toyota, Honda. I'm not really sure about Nissan. I don't know what the fuck they got going on. They just Honda, Toyota. Shit, that's really the only two that I could think of in Ford. But other than that, if you're getting another car that's not one of those, like, you might need to get a warranty. You get a car that's got ridiculously high mileage, like you're in the 70s, 80s, hundreds, might want a warranty. Got like 20,000 miles on it, a used, I don't even know what would be 20,000 in that range. A Fusion, an Altima. And then the warranty's kind of like up in the air. It just kind of really depends on the, if there's any records or not on the car. If there's no records that show anything, probably go with the warranty. But then again, it's 20,000 miles. I mean, most people are only putting 10,000 miles in their car a year. Five years, even put 
50,000 miles on. These new engines and all this fuel economy and all this shit, I don't know, they're cutting the wrong corner. Nowadays, it's it's the car with the best fuel economy and the best features. They cut the engine, they cut corners and places, like they cut corners and places just so you can have a nice touch screen and good gas mileage. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I mean, I like touch screen, don't get me wrong. But damn, I want an engine. That should be the main priority, then do all the other stuff. Because without the engine and the transmission, I mean, you got a you got a nice you got a nice tablet in your car. You know what I'm saying? You get 30 miles to the gallon, but you ain't driving nowhere. I'm not an old head by any means. Like, I like new shit. I like the new technology. I like I like I don't, all that carburetors and all that. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't care about none of that shit. So all this new stuff I like. So don't don't get me confused and think I'm an old head and I'm just like, oh, back in the day, in my day, we had. No, uh -uh, we, we're not doing that. So with that being said, at the same time, you have to face reality and realize like these cars ain't, ain't what they used to be. And I don't understand why, because nowadays we have the technology like easily you can, every car on the road right now should, I'm saying back when I had that little Jeep, my grandma had a Jeep. Man, that thing had 296 or 300 and something thousand miles on that thing. Like most cars now, that was 10, 15 years ago. Now cars, man, cars should be hitting 400,000. Easy. But like I said, it all depends on where you get the car, how the previous person took care of it. That's where the question comes in because if you buy a car, like certain cars, like I'm gonna say, you know that they've been dogged out. Like my favorite car is a Subaru, but buying a used Subaru, you know what they've been doing in that car. You know why they bought the car. And you know they beat on it. So buying a used Subaru, you're pretty much buying somebody else's problem. So certain cars, you kind of have to go new. Like you don't have a choice. Anything that's like, you know that it's for sport, it's for race, not racing, but like, it's for that purpose. The car was built to go fast, to be fun, to be pushed. Those are cars that you know you need a warranty. You gotta pay attention to what you're buying. How, it's hard to say how it's taken care of, but really just what you're buying, what kind of car, this, you know what I'm saying? Where it came from. A lot of cars have high mileage and they were just like um, rental cars. Well, then again, I don't know, because rental cars, I doubt they even take care of them things. They put them, no, nah, I don't know. I'll take that back. Rental cars, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Don't buy no Don't buy no rental cars. It just depends on the car, what, the, what type of car. But, I mean, it's better be safe than sorry, you know. Go with the warranty, because that little 1500, that shit ain't prepared for the worst. And you prepare, and you get that little warranty, and you'll be all right. But that's all for today. When I get my car back, I'll do a little video because I've ordered my tune and I'll be doing a lot of stuff with this tune coming. Like there's a lot of stuff I got to do. So I have plenty of content coming soon. Like I got a lot of stuff to do. Like <laughs> this, this, this LF is finna go from the family sedan to like, it's not going to be a race car, but it's not going to be a family sedan anymore. So plenty of content coming soon plenty plenty of content coming soon just stick around um uh, like i said thursday friday or monday the car will be back and just here sometime next week Would you die for me, baby? Would you die for me, baby? Would you die for me, baby? Would you die for me, baby?